he just all over the place. Joshua is actually going through diabetic stages. So we're gonna go ahead and put it to test y'all and see how well this baby works. It ain't hardly no workers at this Walmart, y'all. This is sad. This is so freaking sad, y'all. everybody doing this morning well good evening I'm gonna say that because it's noon I just pulled up at Walmart real quick I'm gonna grab a couple of items in here mainly cleaning stuff I hope this place ain't real crowded y'all but I'm gonna run in here y'all and just get some stuff that I need real quick I gotta do some washing today some cleaning up today because my house smells just like a dog which is Joshua I mean y'all I just got to find some sort of solution on you know what to what to get to not make my house smell like dog and I know me and Jemiah we're gonna have to take Joshua a bath today because his odor is ridiculous child it is I don't know y'all but I can't stand that smell at all oh, Lord Jesus I know one thing y'all me and Lewis we're planning on putting Joshua up for adoption I'm gonna tell y'all the reason why it's a long story but I'm going to tell y'all the reason why we're going to end up putting him up for adoption. And uh, I'm going to let y'all know. As soon as I talk to y'all about it, I'm going to let y'all know. But we're not going to be able to keep him because of that. And I'm going to let y'all know. Like I said, I'm going to let y'all know. But anyways... I'm finna run up in here and uh grab me some cleaning cleaning supplies. Oh lord, it's hot, hot, hot. We've been getting some rain, child. We got rain yesterday and we like this. Y'all, our lights got cut off. Got cut off yesterday. Our lights was off for a good I'm just gonna say for a good 12, 13, 14 hours. I had to go to my mama's house. And it was just a mess, child. It was just a mess. But um Yeah. Looks like it's about to get ready to rain again sometime later on today. I hope our lights don't get cut off again. But lately, every time it thunder and storm and stuff like that, y'all. It's like, we be hearing like boom, boom, like that, like real loud noise. And every time, time something pops, our lights cut off. And I am just so sick of this, cause it's been going on ever since me and Louis been, been living in this house. It's been going on. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it either. I don't know what Memphis like gas and water is doing, but they not doing their job. I'm gonna talk to y'all about that too. Well, let me run up in here real quick, y'all. Grab what I need, child. I'm gonna run over here real quick, y'all, to see if um, they got some peppermint oil real quick. Cause I've been, I've been running out of this stuff. Let's see. They got this lemon and mandarin spray. 
And I think you can spray this like on fabrics and stuff like that, y'all. Let me see. Yeah. Spray this like in in your rooms and stuff like that that has like an odor and stuff. But I don't want this scent though. I want something like something that has peppermint in it. That's what I want. I'm pretty sure I'm probably not gonna be able to find no peppermint oil, child. Cause every time I come over here, somebody beat and got them all. <sighs> and I don't see not a one over here. I see everything but peppermint. Everything but peppermint. Okay, I see a basil. I see a spearmint. I see some tea tree oil. Oh Lord, let me get lucky. Let me get lucky. Let me get lucky, Jesus. Oh, I found one, y'all. I found one. I found one. Dang, got the one too. <sighs> y'all, I need this so bad. This right here literally kills bad smells y'all i love to bomb peppermint oil in my wax warmer i mean it's real strong it'll open up your girl nose i mean i'm telling y'all something y'all nose is stopped up or something like that burn y'all some peppermint oil and let it just go all up in your nostrils girl you'll be able to breathe i'm just saying you'll be able to breathe i was trying to see if i can find me another just one more peppermint oil over here. I can't believe I found that one. Oh man, man, man. Let's see, let's see. What is this right here? I don't know what it is. see do I need anything else over here before I walk all the way over there on the other side of Walmart I'm trying to thank y'all I should have went to big lights that's where I should have went let me go on over here on this side over here I'm gonna pick up pick up some, some uh, more paper towels what else I need I'm gonna grab some more uh some more lifestyle. Actually, I'm gonna grab this right here. I'm gonna grab some of this right here, y'all. Yeah. Is this good like to put in your laundry? Or do I just need to get some regular like vinegar? Because this one here says all purpose cleaner. <laughs> I don't know. Cause someone told me that when you're doing your laundry you can add vinegar just so that your clothes will have like a more fresher scent to them. And I didn't know that. So I'm just like, I'm going to try that one day. So I'm going to add some vinegar into my laundry when I wash. And I'm going to see how my clothes smell. I don't know if I should get this one or just regular like vinegar though. I don't know, y'all. Y'all got to help the sister out. Because <laughs> that'll be my first time ever pouring vinegar into my laundry. I ain't never tried that. But... I'm gonna see. I'm gonna get this right here too. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see do I want to get this or do I want to get that other stuff? There's so 
something that lasts longer. I just forgot the name of the child. I'm gonna go over there on the other side. I'm gonna grab one of these two. You know, I got two of them at home. But, um, I don't know. I think this one smells better, though. Let's see. I'll just get one of these. I'll just grab that one anyway. Let me go around here real quick, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I think I'm gonna pick up some of these right here. I was looking at um, what they supposed to do when cleaning things. And it has a deep clean, a long lasting freshness. And it also has fiber care. So I'm gonna grab some of these. This will be my first time ever using these. But I'm going to pick some of those up. And then I'm just trying to get a lot of stuff so that my house can smell uh, like refreshed. Because like I was telling y'all, girls, my house smells just like a dog cleaning. I'm just saying, y'all. <laughs> it smells just like a dog cleaning. I don't like this smell at all. I just can't, I can't stand this smell, so. I'm gonna have to find some type of solution. I'm gonna grab some Clorox. I may need to grab two Clorox. Yeah, I'm gonna grab two of these. And I'm gonna see. Right here. I used to use this arm and hammer, y'all. But at home, right now, I'm using Tide. But I think I'm gonna grab some of that arm and hammer though, with the baking, baking uh, soda in it. That's what I think I'm gonna grab. Not the one that I want though, y'all. I want the other one. I actually want this one right here with a nice scent to it, but I want this one in this size right here. That's what I want. Yeah, they only got this one in the uh, in the clean burst scent. Let me see what scent this is. This is the sun kissed flower scent. That's what I, that's what I really want right there. I'll go ahead and get this one. They finally put some more blade plug-ins out, y'all. I don't know how to see no air wig, but I see a lot of blade down here. Finally, about time, child. Is there time I come up in here? They rarely have the blade plug-ins up in here. They rarely have them, y'all. Trying to figure out which ones I want to pick up this time. Let me smell this right here. Let's see what this smell like. I don't want nothing that that's too I don't know too citrusy. I just don't like that smell for some reason. I like stuff to smell clean. Like have a nice like clean scent. That's what I like, y'all. I really can't smell this. This smell okay. This one right here. Hmm. I normally always buy the uh, fresh linen. I always grab that one, but I think I want something else this time. This smell pretty good right here. And these are the Febreze, which I have the the, uh, the plug-ins at home already. I just need to buy these fillers. This right here smells pretty good. I may just get two of these right here. Okay. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, y'all. I was actually looking for some of those snuggle, like, uh, fabric, uh, softener. Softeners that you throw in the, throw in the washing. I was looking for some of those, but they don't have any of those. I think I may need to grab like some more toilet paper. And let's see. I'm gonna grab some more toilet paper, y'all. right here will help on my carpet or do I need to pick up this one right here this is the shout carpet oxy fresh scent stain and odor uh, remover or they have the uh, or they have um, they have this one right here. I wonder what this smell like. This also um, sanitizes and kills 99.9% .9 bacteria. So I wonder which one I need to get then. Cause I'm not sure what one I need to get then. So I have four to choose from y'all. Then we have this one right here. I just want something that's gonna smell good when I spray it on the carpet then you know I'm gonna vacuum it up so that's what I need maybe I need to get one of these this is the resolve pet expert hair eliminator vacuum booster <laughs> I don't need this because Joshua don't he don't really shed a whole lot a lot of hair like Marquis said Marquis said he, he sheds a lot of hair but I really can't tell though if he is shedding a lot of hair. I just feel like he really don't. But he does be on my carpet though, rubbing his whole back and body all over my carpet. And the smell is horrible, y'all. Like he does that every freaking morning. Joshua does it. And after he does that, child, my whole entire room smells just like dog. I don't like it. It smells just like dog. So I'm gonna have to get something because I'm gonna have to vacuum and uh try to get my carpet smelling like something and not like him. So I'm gonna have to grab something. I'm trying to think what though. What I wanna grab. I may just pick up this right here, y'all. This is what I may end up picking up right here. I just hope it smells like something because I can't smell it or spray it right now. So I hope it smells like something. Mm. Anyway, let me walk on over here real quick so I can get up out of here. All right, y'all. So listen, this is the other vinegar that I was talking about. So do I need to pour this in my laundry? 
or this one right here. See, I don't know which one to get. But you know what I'm thinking? Let's see. Well, this one right here says for cleaning, cooking, and I don't know what that other word is, child. But this is for cleaning and cooking. Now this one here is just for everything. It's an all-purpose manager, so you can use this to clean everything with. So I'm just trying to see which one is better for the laundry, though. Oh, this one does say for the laundry, y'all. Girl, how did I not see that? Y'all know I can, I can rarely see. <laughs> but you know what? I'm gonna get this one because you get more in there. Plus. This one right here, this is a little small bottle, so. Yeah. Let me get the big one, y'all. It says that you can take like one, let's see. It says you can take one cup of this and add it to your to your laundry. So I just grabbed that one. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. I'ma see y'all when I get back to the car. 2,000 years later. So y'all, I thought I was about to get ready to get up out of here. No oh, ma'am, look, I'm standing in line. I'm all the way back here in line. I'm basically in the women clothing section. This is where I have to stand in because the line is so freaking long, y'all. This is crazy, look, y'all. That's how many people in front of me. I hope my camera ain't getting blurry on now. But yeah. Is this my clothes? Oh my goodness. Really? Wow. This man just told me he's the last person to get in this line. It ain't hardly no workers at this Walmart, y'all. This is sad. This is so freaking sad, y'all. Oh, Lord. Channel and finally out this doggone long line Walmart. <laughs> I'm just putting these bags in the car. I thought I felt something leaking. I hope ain't nothing leaking from out there in one of these these spray bottles or nothing. Or these bleach. Who eats the bleach? Okay. Alright. Lord Jesus, I can't believe I stood in that long line like that, y'all. Girl. I walked down the whole entire uh, walkway. Y'all know when you walking in the middle of the Walmart trying to see what line open. Girl, guess what? Three lines open. Three lines are open. I'm shaking my head like this is ridiculous. This is so sad. Like, where is all the workers? I mean, I know the corona getting bad and stuff like that, but baby, where is the workers at? Who child? I had to get out of one line and go to the self-checkout because I wasn't supposed to be in the self checkout because I had too much stuff in my in my basket. But the girl, she let me go ahead and check out at the uh, self checkout line, y'all. She was looking in my basket. She was like, "Girl, you know you ain't supposed to be over here because you got too much stuff in your basket." And I'm like, "Girl, you know y'all need some more workers because look at all these people in these lines." That's what I was saying in my head. <laughs> But like I said, y'all, thank God she let me go ahead and go through the line. Because I was just like, oh my goodness gracious. I know these people see all these uh, lines long like this. Like all the workers. And half of them workers, y'all, they just walking around the store. They ain't even doing nothing. You see a lot of them walking around the store. You see a lot of them stocking. You see a lot of them picking up stuff and straightening up aisles and stuff like that. But 
you need more workers at the register because the more and more um this virus get bad the more and more people you're gonna see in the stores racking up on stuff i'm just saying and these lives are going to be extremely long i thank god that i was able to get what i got but i tell you one thing people better go ahead and grab what they're gonna grab while they have a chance <sighs> that's what i am gonna say to y'all but anyways, I'm on my way to the house. I'm gonna talk to y'all real quick about Joshua. So, a couple of weeks ago, y'all, I took Joshua to the vet. And it's been a minute. And uh, when I took him to the vet, I was actually wondering why he was peeing so much and drinking so much water. So I took him to the vet. They ran some blood tests on him. And uh, come to find out, he is slightly diabetic. They told me that he was like in the early, early, early stages of being a diabetic dog due to him not getting the proper uh, nutrients in his body. Um, he just wasn't getting what he needed for a very, very, very long time. And y'all know Marquise and his dad has had this dog ever since I gave him back to Marquise. And that's been two years ago because I had Joshua. And I was taking care of him, feeding him, like, stuff that he needed because he wasn't experiencing none of this that he's going through now. Like, pee peeing a lot and drinking so much water. Like, when I had him back then, y'all, he was not doing that. Plus, I was giving him sweet potatoes. He would eat tuna fish, salmon. He also would do his dog food from time to time. But I like switch it up and make sure that he's getting the proper minerals and getting the proper foods and stuff like that in his body. So I was not experiencing what I'm experiencing now. So when they told me that he was like at a slight early stage of being a diabetic dog, which he is a diabetic dog, y'all, because it's not no slight chance or nothing like that to it. Joshua is actually going through diabetic stages. And I'm gonna tell y'all this. The dog food that he was on when Marquise first brought him to me, I was giving him that. He was eating it, but he was constantly like throwing it up. Every other day he would eat it and he would throw it up and I kept wondering why, okay? Then I was just like, well, maybe I need to get him some sweet potatoes or, or an egg or something because he can eat certain types of, of food that we eat. So the eggs that he can eat, he can only eat cage-free eggs, grain-free with like omega-3 and stuff like that in it. So I bought him those eggs and I gave him an egg and I was just like, okay. So once I gave him that egg, you know, he held it down pretty good. He didn't you know throw it up or nothing like that and i was just like okay so he's doing good with his egg so i would give him an egg like every morning or whatever and he would do good with it but later on during the day it's like he would have his dog food there and he wouldn't i'm gonna say he would barely eat his dog food he won't eat too much of it but he'll barely eat it and i was thinking to myself is he full or does he just not want it or what is it? Cause he wasn't really eating the dog food. And by me just really not paying attention to Joshua like that, I noticed that every morning that he wakes up, he would like gag and stuff like that. And sometimes he would throw up and I'm thinking, okay, let me just go ahead and take him to the doctor y'all. Because I was wondering anyway, why he was peeing and drinking so much water. And when I looked that up, it was causes of diabetic because you know it messes with a lot of things in the dog's body because he's not getting the proper insulin in his body that he needs and that's what was going on the whole entire time that i had joshua y'all like right now to this day i makes him like a a home like diabetic dog food I gave Granny all of the rest of his dog food. I paid $63 for that dog food, y'all. 
it was very expensive okay he can't even eat that no more but let me get back to the vet so the vet gave me back all of his blood work and stuff like that and she told me like i told y'all he has a slight chance of being a diabetic dog which joshua like i said he's already a diabetic dog because i'm looking at him daily seeing what he can eat what he can't eat what he throwing up and i'm just seeing and watching him daily how he act with food and stuff like that and when she told me that he was like in the early stage of being a diabetic dog i'm like okay so what does that what does that mean and she was like well he's not fully fully there of being a diabetic dog but he has the symptoms due to him being a young dog which joshua is just five years old y'all he's not he's not that old he's just five so he really can't intake a whole whole lot of food because it may just mess with his blood sugar levels and stuff like this so when i go to the store i try to buy him things with no carbohydrates am i saying it real right y'all <laughs> but i try to buy him things with that zero of that in it no carbohydrates but i try to buy him like fruits and vegetables with no carbs in it at all um and lately i've been picking up sweet potatoes fresh sweet potatoes um i do buy carrots i know that has like slight carbs in it but i don't give him any carrots i'll, I'll mash it up in his food and stuff like that because it will balance out his blood level you know the sugars or whatever just as if uh, me giving him brown rice because I was buying him brown rice but I was doing some more research and it's some more rice that's better for him which is called Kwana I'll leave it somewhere in the video because I may be saying it wrong but both of these rices have carbs in it but one is a little bit more better for diabetics and it like balance out the blood sugars so i bought some of that which i'm gonna show y'all when i get home um what i bought him so i've been giving him that lately that's what he's been eating eating which is um oh cage free chicken with no carbs in it no gluten no nothing in it y'all it's just some some raw chicken with really nothing in it and that chicken you know i have to try to catch it when it's on sale but I'll show y'all that too, but I mix all of that up with um, the brown rice, the sweet potatoes. I may smash like one uh, egg in there or whatever. And then I also got this can of, um, dog, I forgot the name of this stuff, but I'm gonna show y'all when I get home. It's like a can of minerals in it. It's actually pumpkin, but is for dogs not for us humans to eat y'all you have to go to petco to pick it up but you just get like a spoon of that mix it up in his food or whatever and it and it helps with digesting his food really good and it also helps with giving him all the minerals that he needs and um um his gi tract it actually helps with that as well so it's a lot of stuff that i've been buying it's a lot of stuff that i've been actually doing for joshua due to me getting the results back of his blood test i also got his shots because the last time he had shots was when he was with me and i spoke with my baby dad and that's what he told me so i went ahead on and got him his shots and stuff like that so right now joshua is basically up to date on everything it's just that you know by him being a early diabetic dog you know I have to take a little bit more care of him and it's it's kind of hard for me because I don't like to see him waking up gagging and stuff like that throwing up not healthy food not digesting food and it's just it's just hard y'all not only that um he has to intake insulin and stuff like that the vet already told me that it costs so much money to get the dog insulin every month and I'm going to tell y'all what I paid 
just for Joshua to get blood work done and his shots. Girl, I paid 500 and some dollars just for them to do blood work and give him his shots and tell me what I needed to do for him and to care for him. And I would say this, it's hard. It's hard taking care of a diabetic dog because you be so worried, you know, if he just gonna collapse or even when I have Joshua out in the heat, like y'all remember that time I took him and we was running around the track. Now I see why he couldn't hardly breathe and he wanted that water and stuff like that. He was trying to like, I don't know if he's trying to catch his breath. I don't know, but it just seemed like he was trying, he was going into some sort of anxiety attack or something. I don't know. He just kept breathing fast, kept breathing fast and he couldn't stop breathing fast. And I, it was bothering me. So now that I know that he, he is like somewhat diabetic, I don't know if I can take care of him like that. So I am, me and Lewis decided to put him up for adoption. Um, and maybe someone else can take care of him a little bit more better than, than me. Because I'm the only one that's doing it, you know. Lewis bought him some medicine that he also has to have. And it's basically some, um, it's some insulin drops, y'all, that he had to, have mixed in his food every time that I make his food. He has to have it twice daily. And um, it was something that I had to order and it was like $50. I mean, I ordered it offline, but Lewis paid for it, child. Cause I was just like, man, I paid 500 and some dollars just taking him to the vet, y'all getting shot. So Lewis went ahead on and paid for the little insulin drops or whatever that he has to have that the vet recommended for us to do for him, you know, every time that he eats so that we won't be constantly taking him to the vet paying hundreds of dollars for him to get that insulin injected inside of his body. I'm so glad that the lady recommended me that. And um, she was like, well, this is just a better and cheaper alternative for y'all just so y'all won't be coming back and forth up here uh getting his insulin shots and stuff like that because by him being like i said that diabetic y'all he has to have that insulin and he's not getting enough of it so i'm gonna show y'all everything that i've been doing for him lately but it's hard and plus jamaya she does nothing jamaya really like i said she don't want to get up let him outside to use the restroom. She don't want to make him no type of food. She rarely want to take him a bath, which I'm going to make her take him a bath today because he smells. And she really just don't want to do nothing, y'all. She been going to school. She been a little bit tired. And she also still works just on the weekend. Jemaya really ain't got time for Joshua. She really don't have time. So... I'm just going to do what I have to do. I hate that I have to put him up for adoption, but I'm not always at home to care for him, y'all. I have to do other things as well. Like, I already knew that I wasn't taking him to Dallas with us when we moved because I think I mentioned it to somebody that asked me that. But I was just going to keep him until we get ready to move out of town. But I'm like... Man, I don't know if I can do it. Because like I said, caring for a sick dog that's a lot of money especially if he's a diabetic dog it's almost like caring for a human being but yet they're diabetic you know so man it's like <laughs> y'all just do not understand y'all do not understand and then joshua he been a little he been a little bad lately i don't know what has got into him but he been tearing up stuff like I told y'all, he tore up his whole bed, girl. The whole little great thing that Jemiah bought him for him to lay in, girl, he tore it up. I just took the whole thing out of there. And now he ain't laying on nothing but in the cage. Because I told him, I said, stop tearing that thing up, Joshua. Be a good boy. Girl, he didn't put a hole in it. He didn't just tore all the little cushion, little soft stuff out of it. And I'm like... Okay, I'm just going to take this up out of here. 
you just gonna be laying in the cage, baby. You just gonna be laying in the cage, cause it's obvious that you you tearing up stuff now. Cause he did my pillow like that too. And then uh, when Marquise, when they was a little bit younger, when I had Joshua the first time, he tore up Marquise comforter like that. So I guess whenever he ain't he, he ain't getting his way, child, he gonna tear some stuff up. But he ain't finna be tearing up stuff in my house. No, ma'am. No to the ma'am. But, um, yeah, that's the reason why I'm gonna go on here, y'all, and put him up for adoption. Because, like I said, somebody else may have the funds and the money to take him, um, you know, to get his insulin shots or whatever. Just take better care of him than me, even though I'm doing the best that I can for Joshua. But I know I'm not gonna be coming out of my pocket like that, y'all. I just can't, y'all. I just can't. Now, getting those little insulin drops that I did, well, that Lewis ordered offline, once that runs out, that's it. That's it, babe. We're going to have to, we're going to have to let them go. And I hate that this has to happen. I really do. But, Jemiah is really supposed to be taking a little bit more responsibility. Because like I said, she don't want to buy nothing. She don't want to do nothing. And money coming from out me and Louis' pocket for Joshua, like major money like that, Jemiah don't want to help. She don't want to do nothing. I had to literally ask her for $100. I asked Marquise for $100 because me paying $500 and some dollars, y'all, girl, that's a lot of money just to run some blood work and to get a shot for a dog. That's a lot of money. It really is. So, Marquise gave me $100. Jemiah gave me $100. I had to beg them for $100 just so at least all of us would have been pitching in. You know what I mean? Because it's like, okay, mm -mm. this is just way too much money for a dog i'm just saying i don't want this camera to okay y'all but that's just way too much money i mean no i'm not gonna be doing it and him just being seen by a vet every time you take a dog to a vet they're going to ask so what's wrong with your dog we're gonna have to run some tests so we can see once they run them tests girl that's 300 some dollars right there so every time that i would have to take him to the vet that's money every time being took out my account. Is Jemiah giving that? No. But like I said, she the one asked for the dog. You know, and I do majority of taking care of him. Which I have no problem with taking care of Joshua. I'm just not finna do it because I have a life. <laughs> I have a life. And taking care of a sick dog y'all if I had the patience, I will. And um, I'ma tell y'all what it really is. It's the cost of what, what you spend in every time the dog has to go to the vet. I mean, you have to constantly pay 300, 500, or even higher for your dog to get insulin, for your dog to get blood tests, any type of work done every time. Y'all know how much money that is a month? That I'm paying, Lewis is paying, Jemiah's not doing nothing. Girl, no. I would not. No, ma'am. So, I hate to bring it to y'all like that, but we just gonna have to get poor old Joshua up for adoption. And another thing, Joshua is not even supposed to be in my house, y'all. Me and Lewis... We supposed to be paying $90 more for a dog to even be here. And y'all think we went down there and told them people that we got a dog? No, I was actually being slick with it. And I was just like, well, we just going to get Joshua for a minute and see how he acts or whatever. And I'm going to kind of like, you know, nourish his body just a little bit and, you know, help him out just a little bit. Because I knew Marquise wasn't really doing too much for him because he stayed in the cage all the time. Not only that, Marquise was in college and work. So when did he ever have time for Joshua? 
he didn't. So that's the reason why I told your Maya she can go ahead and bring him, you know, see if she was going to do what she's supposed to be doing. I gave her a whole three weeks. Jemiah, she ain't really doing nothing for this dog. Nothing. Now, she went and bought the dog toys, little treats, and, you know, gave me $10 to get the little snacks or whatever. But after that, she ain't did nothing else. Nothing else. Like I said, everything that Joshua has now and everything that he's been needing, it's been coming out of me and Louis' pocket. Jemiah, she ain't been doing nothing. She don't want to do nothing. So, I'm going to have to do what I have to do, y'all. And, um, like I said, if somebody come over here trying to fix anything, like if anything breaks down in this house, y'all, and I need somebody to come out to fix it, and they see that I have a dog, they're going to report that. And my house smells just like a dog. So even if they walk through here, they're going to smell that I had a dog. They're going to report that. And I'm not paying no $90 more for this house. This house is not even worth what me and Lewis is paying now, y'all. Y'all are not going to believe what we paying a, a month for our rent. Y'all are not going to believe it. But paying that much for this house, which this house ain't even that big, y'all, in the inside. I mean, it's a nice size, but... The amount of rent that we paying for it, it's not worth it. It's a big ripoff. And for them to be asking for $90 more, no ma'am. No to the ma'am. We cannot wait to leave Memphis and to get up out of this house, to be honest with y'all. We can't wait. So to let these people know that we got a dog and to give them extra money, no ma'am. Mm -mm. I would not. No. So, we're going to keep Joshua for probably like two more weeks or whatever, y'all. And we're going to be giving him up for adoption. I know y'all probably don't want to hear that. Y'all probably be like, well, Candy Poo, girl, why you can't do this? Why you can't do that? Well, you know what? I'm going to ship him off to y'all then. <laughs> I'm going to ship him off to y'all then. Y'all want Joshua? Y'all can come down here and get him. That's what y'all can do. Y'all can take care of him. But Jemima, she ain't doing nothing. But I'm finna go in this house, y'all. And uh, put this stuff up. I'm gonna do a quick little haul. And I'm gonna see. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to change my battery real quick. I'm glad I had some extra batteries in my purse. But like I was saying, y'all, I'm finna go up in here real quick, chat, and put this stuff up. Do a quick haul. Show y'all everything I got. I do have a review that I want to throw in this vlog really quick, y'all. It was just a little vacuum cleaner that got sent out to me that I wanted to share real quick. And um, I just called Jamaya too and told her to come get these bags. She didn't go to school today, y'all. Due to our lights being off all yesterday all night long until probably like around about 11 or 12 i think it was like 12 some last night when we came home from my mama house y'all because lewis had drove past here to see if our lights was on they and they finally fixed them and popped on and i was just like i'm not getting up taking jamai to school i'm i'm not doing it because i was tired she was tired and oh excuse me lord jesus I just didn't get up there early. I went to bed too late, y'all. Too late. So, yeah. Anyway, let me grab these bags real quick, y'all. I'm finna do a haul, okay? All right, y'all. So, I just got finished putting all this stuff on the, on the table real quick. I'm gonna do a quick little haul. Just share with you guys just a couple of, couple of items that I picked up, okay? So, I grabbed some of these. This is for our salad, y'all. We put these in our salad just to make it a little spicy. I got two tomatoes. I got some Miss Onion right here. I also got some banana peppers, some Windex. I bought one of these right here to go on top of my mattress. I threw the old one away, y'all. So this is just for a little bit more softness, you know, on the mattress or whatever. Plus, I still got the plastic on my mattress, so that may be some of the reasons why my mattress y'all feel i don't know it kind of feels funny due to the plastic being on top and i really can't feel the softness so i'm gonna put this on top of the plastic because i wasn't planning on taking the plastic off no way y'all until i move 
So yeah, I picked up some paper towels, some toilet paper. Got some Febreze. I also picked up two more of these just for the wax burner. I got some, uh, what is this? This is the Bright Hibiscus. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, y'all, but this smells really good. Got my peppermint oil. I also picked up these. They're for the um, toilet bowls. So I'm going to toss both of these in the toilets and both of the restrooms. I picked up some Iris Spring soap for my husband. I used the dial, but he tells me to get him this. It's just a better scent for his body because of the environment that he works, y'all. And he just... I don't know, Louisville just be wanting his body to smell like something. So that's the reason why I picked this up. Um, I got two of the Cloroxes. I picked up two Clorox sprays right here. I don't know why I picked this up. Because my husband, he just bought something from Home Depot, child. I don't know. But, yeah. I did pick up some pine salt as well. I just went ahead on and grabbed one of those. I got the vinegar. Um... I picked up one of these, the Microband 24-hour sanitizing spray. And I also picked up one of these right here, y'all, the Lysol. I grabbed some Arm & Hammer, some sweet potatoes for Joshua. I just got him two of them. And I got this as well to spray my carpets and vacuum. And I'm going to try these out in the washer when I wash. Now, I do have to go run to the to the big washer y'all to throw our comforters in there and i'm gonna toss some of these babies in there as well and then i also got some bananas right there so yeah i went ahead on and started joshua's chicken you know i just boil his chicken in regular water y'all i'm gonna show y'all the chicken that that he has to eat i actually bought him like two of these so this is the chicken right here y'all that he can eat it has no carbs it's cage free um it's just some natural 99 percent fat free chicken breast that i just chop up really really good for him and i mix it up in the sweet potato and the rice and he actually eats it and you know it digests is pretty good and he can he can hold that down and he don't throw that up or nothing like that y'all so that's just one of the things that i am doing for him Due to him being a diabetic dog, I also got him some some blueberries. He can't eat blueberries as a snack. He actually got two things of blueberries in here. He likes to eat them frozen because every time I give them to him, if they're just like soft, he not going to eat them. But I give them to him froze because that's just how he likes to eat them, child. <laughs> so I also, uh, I, don't even, I don't have any more of that brown rice. So this is what this is what I mix into his chicken, sweet potatoes. I was throwing a little bit of carrots in there, y'all, but I'm just gonna do the sweet potatoes because carrots have slight carbs in it, not a whole lot, but it's also good for the dog as well. It actually balances out his sugar just as well as the brown rice. But this is better for him because this is less carbs. So I picked this one up at all these non-gmo you know it has nothing in it low sodium uh, gluten-free and then it's also a really big big source of fiber and joshua he needs plenty of protein and plenty of fiber due to him being you know a diabetic dog but yeah i haven't opened that up yet y'all because i had already made him some food in the refrigerator and that was just the rest of the brown rice. I mixed in some eggs in there, um, carrots, sweet potatoes, and um, this is the this is the stuff that he has to uh, mix into his food, y'all. I got it from Petco. This is six dollars a can, y'all. Six dollars a can, y'all. So yeah, he has to get this mixed into his food as well. It's just vitamins and it's just fiber support and it's a it's for a healthy gi track for the dog you know and it's just a good supplement and it's nothing but pumpkin child so yeah this helps him to keep his food down and it's also giving him that loss of you know vitamin or fiber that he didn't get 
this right here will actually give that to him when I mix it in his food. Um, also, I got one more thing to share with y'all. This right here is just insulin drops. This is the natural insulin drops that was recommended to me to give to Joshua twice daily in his food. This right here, y'all, was $49.99 plus tax. It was 50 some dollars. So this is actually a good thing for him to take. And it just balances out his, his blood sugars and stuff so that it won't be bothering him, you know, or, you know, mess up with him and stuff like that when he eats and stuff. So yeah, this has actually been helping him pretty good. But he still, you know, tends to have like a weak, a weak stomach sometimes. I guess it all depends because sometimes Joshua can be real energetic. Um, he's very playful. He has a lot of energy. And then sometimes he's kind of like moping around. His head is down and he just want to be outside just sitting in the grass in the sun sometimes, y'all. So yeah i just try to do the best i can though while he is here because like i said jamaya that poor girl she really don't want to do nothing this is what he tore up y'all this is what jamaya bought him and he just literally tore it up y'all see that let me just show y'all he put a a hole in it right here tore all the stuff out of it and he just been he just been chewing on it, tearing it up. So I just took the whole thing out of his cage and I was just like, listen, he just won't be sleeping on nothing then. Cause every time I, I tell him to get on here and go to sleep, he'll get to trying to take the rest of this little stuff right here out. And he was trying to eat it. So I was just like, no, nah. cause he, he gonna mess around and choke off this stuff. And I ain't gonna be nowhere around when he ch choke off of it. So I just took the whole thing about his cage, child. And he just walks in the cage, just lays on it. And, it, and that's about it. But, anyways, I'm gonna put this stuff up real quick, y'all. Share with you guys my quick review of this vacuum cleaner that was sent out to me really quick. So, y'all just continue to watch. Alright, y'all. So, there he goes. Y'all see what he doing in the grass. <laughs> I just want to show y'all really quick what he does outside and that's some of the reason why he smells so bad look at him y'all and then he comes in the house and does the same thing on my carpet <sighs> let's get into this review <laughs> all right y'all on to this review child so let me just tell y'all this really quick so this is not the vacuum cleaner that I was actually supposed to get sent out to me. Um, I was supposed to get one of those round vacuum cleaners y'all that does all the work itself, but they sent me out this one. And the reason why I did not want this one is because I have two more of these already. Y'all already know I gave Granny one of them. And then my other one that I have, it's just sitting in the closet. I think um, I'm gonna give that one to Marquise. But they went ahead on and sent me out this one, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put it to test. So this video is in collaboration with BagotLife.com. So that's the name of the website, y'all. This is uh, the Bagot brand vacuum cleaner. This is a two-in-one cordless stick vacuum cleaner, by the way. And um, I'm gonna put this to test, y'all. I gotta put it together. I'm gonna let y'all know what it comes with. It comes with a moisturized brush head um, a carpet brush, a two-in-one bristle brush, and a long crevice nozzle. Yeah. And then it also picks up dust, uh, hair, and gets up bacteria. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open it up, y'all, and put this baby together. And uh, we're going to put it to test. This is what it looks like. Okay, gives you your book manual right here. I didn't drop the thing on the flow chat. I'm just gonna share with you guys each part that it comes with. So we have, this is the pole of the vacuum cleaner. Okay. 
this is what the um the head of the vacuum cleaner looks like i'm gonna say that y'all and i'm gonna attach the pole onto this part here this is where all of the the trash and stuff like that goes and i think there's a way which it tells you here how to empty it and take this part here off and stuff like that okay I guess this is just like one of the little filters, y'all. So when one gets dirty, well, no, this actually goes on top of the vacuum cleaner, y'all. Yeah. So once I put it together, I'm gonna show y'all. I know this here is probably the little piece that you stick on the wall so you can have somewhere to to, to uh, put your vacuum cleaner. That's just in case you want to stick it on the wall or something, but I ain't going to put mine on the wall. Then we have the charger. This is the adapter charger to plug it up, to charge it up. This is just one of the little brushes here, just in case you want to vacuum you know, like your couches or your car or something like that. That's what this is, this is for. Then we have the actual uh, motorized brush here. So where this right here is going to be picking up everything, y'all. Dust, hair, and bacteria. So hopefully don't let nails get stuck up in here, chair. But yeah. Got that little part. Then we also have this part here. So I'm thinking, okay, so I can change these out, y'all. So if I don't want to use this one, I can actually attach this one on and see how this one works. But I'm going to see which one is which because I know this one is probably for the pickup maybe hair. I don't know y'all. I'm gonna look at and see once I read the once I read the little the little book or whatever. This is just a brush, I guess just a clean. I ain't gonna take this out, y'all. Let's see. No, I ain't gonna take this out. But it's just a little brush, y'all, just a clean. Probably the bristle of the uh vacuum cleaner. And then we have this part here. This is the other part where you can use like you know, vacuum your car or something like that. Okay, and then this is just a little dust bag to put all your extra pieces in. Okay, I was just trying to make sure I share with y'all all of the pieces. Now I'm gonna put this baby together, y'all, real quick. And we finna put it to test. All right, y'all, okay. so I moved my table and just a lot of stuff that was over here. I had my water over there. I'm not gonna move this thing right here, but I kind of like just moved a lot of stuff. I'm gonna take this right here and spray it all over my carpet. And then I'm gonna put this vacuum cleaner to use to the test and see what it picks up. I think I'm gonna let Joshua outside real quick while I'm spraying this cause this may just get in his nose. Come on Joshua, go outside. Look, y'all, he ready too, Chad. Look at him. He's sitting right there in the grass. <laughs> all right, let me finish spraying this all over the carpet. I see that he got a whole lot of this little black uh, string all over this carpet too from that little, that little toy that Jemiah bought him. He, like, tears that up and have all the little black uh, strings all in the floor, y'all, everywhere. Well, I'm going to spray this on here real quick and let it sit for about maybe five to ten minutes. I'm going to let it soak in the soak into this rug real quick, y'all. And then I'm going to be back to vacuum it up, y'all. Okay? All right, y'all. So before I get started, I'm going to share with y'all the different brushes here. Now, this brush right here, y'all, is mainly for like hardwood floors um towel floors floors like this okay so 
that's mainly cleaning like dust and hair and stuff like that so the other brush that i share with you guys let me get okay it so quick. this brush here y'all is mainly for carpets and stuff so what i'm gonna have to do is switch out these brushes and i'm gonna try to put this one in and take this one out so that i can get ready to vacuum this carpet right here y'all and i'm gonna see how good it it picks up okay okay y'all so it took me quite some time to try to get this brush right here out of here but i finally got it and i know how to take it out and put a different one in i'm gonna share with you guys really quick what i did so to take this one out y'all this one was really in like this okay let me try to put it back in actually i'm not gonna put it back in child it's just too much hassle but to take it out there's like a little red like button right here you just push it back and it pops it out i'm gonna actually put this one in though so you take it and you put well actually you just got to make sure this is in the hole first on this side and then you take it and you just push it push it in let me turn this yeah it's supposed to be this way okay push it in like like this and now this one is in y'all but you got to make sure that this thing clicks or whatever but if you want to switch it out this little red button right here you just put it to the push it to the back and that's how it comes out it just pops right out so this one here is mainly for the carpet so we're gonna go ahead and put it to test y'all and see how well this baby works. to the test it actually did a good job picking up you know the the little black stream that was on the carpet he probably picked up some hair and whatever else that was on this carpet child it did a really good job i'm gonna let y'all see what it did pick up i don't know if y'all can see that but it got like you know it, it, it picked up you know just a little bit so this is a really nice you know vacuum cleaner so what I am going to try to do though is just make sure that I'm not picking up the wrong stuff because y'all with my other two vacuum cleaners that's cordless baby listen I vacuum with those things like a lot but lately I ain't been using them I've been using my big vacuum cleaner due to the other ones they wasn't really picking up as as much probably because Jemaya, she would use it like every other day, you know, vacuuming her room and stuff like that out. And it's been a couple of occasions where she vacuumed up the wrong thing, child. And I believe it stopped picking up, you know, as good as it was when I first got it. So I stopped using it. Now, the one that I gave Granny, I don't even know how that one is working for her, child. I don't know. But I'm just glad, though, this one is working pretty good, even though... I really didn't want this one. What is you eating? Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. This camera just got black on y'all. But I don't know what he just ate. Girl. I let him in the house because he started scratching on the door. I told him to go to the go to his cage because I was going to vacuum up in that little stain spray stuff. Girl, this stuff is strong. Let it get in your lungs and have you coughing. But, um... Yeah, I do feel like this vacuum cleaner it does works pretty good, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to try my best to not vacuum up everything. And Jemiah is not going to be getting her hands on this one, tearing this one up. No, she is not. 
So yeah, I am gonna vacuum my room and my beauty room with this one and we're gonna see. And I'm gonna see, you know, how good it works or whatever, picking up, you know, on an actual carpet. Even though I just put it to test on my little kitchen rug, but I'm gonna use it, you know, in my room and see how good it works, y'all. But I just wanted to bring y'all this quick review real quick, just to let y'all know that that is a really good, really good vacuum cleaner, okay? I'm gonna keep y'all up to date on it and I'm gonna let y'all know if it breaks down on me or if it just stop picking up period okay but um i will leave the link down below if you guys want to purchase this one i'll put it down below this video everything y'all need to know about it and y'all can go straight to the site and purchase now this one here y'all on the site i think it was 219 dollars that is a lot of money for that little thing <laughs> To be honest with y'all, I would not pay that child. I'll pay like a hundred and some, but two hundred and some, no, ma'am, no. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed though, hanging out with me and um, spending just a couple of hours with little old Kenzie Pools. Only thing I'm gonna do though, y'all, is finish cooking this chicken. Um, get ready to feed Joshua. I'm also about to run up here to the washer real quick, y'all, and wash our comforters i gotta do a load of clothes today i gotta wash so i'm just pretty busy today y'all i got a lot going on i got a lot i gotta do and um i am gonna try to sanitize my living room all of the rooms wash everything and try to make my house smell a little bit more fresher than it does because like i said it smells just like a dog you know so yeah i got a lot to do and um that's pretty much it, y'all. I, I was going to keep vlogging for y'all and take y'all to the laundry laundry mat with me and stuff like that. But I just don't feel like holding the camera doing all that, y'all. It's hot outside and I just want to get it done and just be, you know, done with it. Okay? So, yeah. But anyways, I'm probably going to turn my camera back on for y'all, though, probably in a couple of more days. So, I will see y'all in a couple of days. And y'all just continue to be safe out there. Be blessed. I love y'all. And um, yeah, God is good. He's all we got. Y'all continue to anoint yourself, anoint your houses, your cars, your body, your children. And y'all just keep it safe. All right, I'm going to see y'all in a couple of days. Later. Hey y'all, so today is another day and I want to quickly share with you guys just some items that I picked up when I went to the store earlier. I didn't do a full vlog, but I was just like, let me just share with them just a couple of items that I did pick up at Dollar Tree, Ross. Um, I did go up in Aldi's and then I went up in Dollar General. Yeah, so y'all, I'm still trying to rack up on some stuff, you know, just to get a lot of things stocked up due to um the corona getting worse and stuff like that yeah so yeah i grabbed some more dow soap i got six of those i also grabbed some ajax uh dishwashing liquid i got six of those and i picked up this fabuloso with the vinegar in it in the apple scent i got two of those i grabbed some more toothpaste three of these um i picked up just a couple of hair products for jamiah well, this grease is actually mine, y'all. I got some cast, castor oil and some coconut oil. Now, this here, Jemiah uses on the wigs that she be, you know, wearing from out of my wig bin. So, um, this is the Lusty Organ Oil Curl Wave Twist. Then I picked up some hair moisturizer in the Organ Oil. I got some olive oil hair sheen and some mousse. And then I went up in Ross and picked up two more full uh, sheet sets for Jemiah bed. And these are in the, the Serta. They're some really, really soft, nice sheet sets, y'all. Because even when I put mine on my bed, I was just like, these are really nice. They were $14.99 a piece. So I just grabbed her two more. And then over here, I picked up two of the training pads for Joshua. I got two more of these. Picked up some more masks for Jemiah for school, some plastic forks. I got two things of the gloves. And I picked up this here. This is like 
to get blackheads and stuff like that out your face, child. So I want to try this because I know I be having like blackheads and whiteheads in my face. So that's what this little thing here is. I also picked up some car air freshener vent clips. These are actually new, y'all. But um, I did buy one and it does smell really good. Um, even when it's like, when it's hot outside, that's when you can smell it. You know, when your car just sitting and it's not crunk up and it's just hot up in that child, that's when you can smell these. They smell pretty good though. I also got me a little lead light to go on my key ring, you know, when I'm getting in and out of my car and stuff like that at nighttime. I just wanted this little flashlight right here, you know, if I couldn't see. I picked up two of the organic eggs from Aldi's. I got some Kwania. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. But I got some organic Kwania, y'all. Correct me if I'm wrong, girl. But I got some of this because Joshua, he likes to eat this um with his food i just you know add a little bit of this and this is a really good source of fiber y'all so he does eat that i grabbed the 82 count glade um trash bags and that's pretty much it girl that's all i picked up um today and yeah y'all just want to come in really quick and share with you guys this quick little haul all right so i'm gonna see y'all next time later Good evening, everyone. How's y'all doing on today? Me and husband is headed to um, PetSmart. I hate the camera. All the way down here, child. But anyway, I hope everybody's doing well, by the way. Keeping it safe out there. But we headed to Petco real quick, y'all. To Yeah, PetSmart. Did I say Petco? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we headed to PetSmart, y'all, to see if we can find Joshua some more food due to him being a diabetic dog. Now, on one of my vlogs, I was stating and letting y'all know that we was about to give him up for adoption and that it's just too expensive for me to continue to take care of him, y'all. And I know that's not what we want to do, but, hey, we still thinking about giving him up for adoption, y'all. We just trying to give it a second chance to try to see if we can help him some more. Y'all already saw everything that I was doing, which I'm trying my best to keep him healthy, make him some food that gives him more protein, fiber, stuff that's good for diabetic dogs. And that's what he's been eating on lately, y'all. But um, I decided to put him on another diabetic food, basically not me going to the grocery store buying stuff and making his food every time. So, I did some research, and um, the food by the name, well, the brand is Heels, Prescription Heels. Is it just Heels? Yeah, yeah. It's Heels, y'all. That's the brand of the food. It's some really good food for a diabetic dog. Basically, the dog is getting everything that he needs by being a diabetic. Even though this food is very expensive, um, we're going to try to get him some of that and see how he does with that y'all like i said jemiah on the other hand she just don't want to do nothing but she the one asked for joshua to be here with us and she's really not trying to take care of him at all so me and lewis is trying our hardest and best to do all that we He's back there going crazy, child. He going from wonder to wonder. <laughs> yeah, he sure is, y'all. He trying to figure out, dog, what ain't finna take me? He just don't know that he about to. Yeah, I did take him to the vet last time, y'all. That's what I was telling y'all. Y'all, when I paid that 500 and something dollars, child, I was just like, man. Oh, child. But yeah, it's just it, it's it's a lot to take care of a diabetic y'all. Me finding out that he is a diabetic y'all, that's not a good feeling. He just back there just the whining. <laughs> but yeah, we headed up in PetSmart y'all just to try to see if we can put him on something else and see how he does with that food because we really 
Oh, I don't know why I thought he just blew up in my car. Because we really don't want to put him up for adoption, but like I was stating in my last video, y'all, well, in one of my videos, child, um, I was saying that it's just hard taking care of him. It is. And for me to be doing it sometimes by myself, because Lewis ain't always here. Jemaya, she's gone. She act like she ain't got time. I don't think I can do it. It's, it's too much on me. It really is. And I be so worried about Joshua just, mm -hmm. yeah. because the way he breathes sometimes, he be panting a lot and he been throwing up lately. You know, I don't know if his blood sugars are, I just don't know. So yeah, low. But we finna go in here, y'all, and see what we can find. All right. Look, y'all. He ready, girl. He just... Y'all hear how he breathing. Like he... Oh, my God. He just going around the whole... Lord Jesus. He just all over the place. He just breathing like he dying of thirst or something. And y'all know what? He don't really like to drink water no more for some reason. Probably because I've been giving him the food that I've been giving him and he's been getting like some of the nutrients in his body and the fiber and stuff. So he really ain't been drinking a whole, whole lot of water like that. But he had like he dying of thirst. Oh, Lord. Come on, Josh. I think the food all... Hello. Come on, Josh. I think the food all the way back down here. Mm-hmm. Come on. Okay. that we are looking for, but we're looking for that special kind. Do you even see it, Louis? back at the crib child because it is raining so 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 hard outside and I ain't want to turn my camera back on getting in and out the car with Joshua trying to put him in the car my camera would have got soaking wet but this is the deal y'all Lewis had to order Joshua's food because I forgot the little the little um card that yeah, the authorization card here at the house, child. I forgot it. And I knew I had to have that for him to get his prescription food after I took him to the vet. So, Lewis had to call, order the food, you know, offline. I had to call the, uh, the vet people where I took Josh, have them approve the food. Because, like I said, I didn't have that little card. So, they had to approve it through email and stuff like that so they can go ahead and send the food here. But that's what is going on now, y'all. So Joshua at the moment is just eating the homemade food that I'm always making for him just until the other food comes. So I'm hoping and praying that, oh Lord, look at him. Stop it. So I'm hoping and praying, y'all, that he likes this food that we finna put him on because he ain't been doing too well, child. He just, one minute he like gagging then the next minute he like throwing up a little bit so i'm trying to keep him to the point where his his blood sugar level is you know on the right track even with these little drops right here it's 
like they help him just a little bit, but something else is still triggering him not to want to eat all the time. And he ain't been drinking a whole, whole lot of water like he used to, so that's a sign of those little drops. They're actually uh, uh, helping. So, yeah. But anyways, y'all, I'm finna get ready to get off of here, child. We just wanted to let y'all hang with us for a little split second. Y'all, it is raining so hard out here. Oh, man. We need the rain, but I just didn't want to drive any, child. <laughs> but anyways, I'm finna go, y'all. Louis is finna get ready to go to work. I had to hurry up and come back to the house anyway because I knew he didn't have long. So, Joshua, he right here, he trying to be good because when he was in the car, child, he was wrecking my nerves, going back and forth, back and forth to the one that he was whining. He was spitting all over my one that he was passing gas all in the car, just constantly passing gas, y'all. He probably thought we was going to drop him off at the adoption clinic. That's what he probably thought. But he's still here with us just until, you know, we try to see if this other option, you know, will work for him because I just hate that he that he's sick, y'all. I really do hate that he's sick. Poor Joshua. Poor, poor, poor Joshua. Anyways, y'all love y'all. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed out there. Continue to stay prayed up. And um, I'm finna get out of here, y'all. Love y'all. Later.